Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me using my current favorite products. So you guys will get to see them in action. I did film a favorites video and I tried to be fancy and use my microphone because I bought a mic and I never used it and I tried to use it and my video was without sound. This is why I shouldn't F with technology. So instead of re-filming it, I thought it would be kind of cool to see the products in action, like to show you guys me using them. I've seen people film these videos and they're always pretty interesting. So hopefully this one is too. Oh, and I didn't do my hair. I just washed it last night and let it air dry. So I will style it at the end of the vid. So I will style it at the end of the video. It's not going to continue to look like this, but we're going to have to deal with this very attractive style for a little while. Okay, so I already put Bioderma on my face just to get all the oils off. My favorite primer foundation combination this, well, like the past like three weeks has been the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot with the YSL All Hours Foundation. Are you guys tired of hearing about this yet? I feel like the All Hours Foundation and Fenty Beauty in general is just so played out right now on YouTube. It's all everyone's talking about, but this foundation is so good. I have the shade BD50 and it is the perfect shade. It smells good. It smells like a spa when you put it on. It gives good coverage, but I love it with this primer. I do have to be careful what primer I pair with this because some of them don't work as well as others. I wouldn't say this is a finicky foundation. I just like I tried to wear it with the new Becca Velvet Blurring Primer and oh, I was greased up by the end of the day. It was terrible. I'm also going to use this LA Girl sponge that they had sent over to me. Mine's a little bit too wet, so I'm just going to get some of the water out of it. This is what it looks like. Oh my god. <gasps> There's two of them. You get two in a pack and it's probably like, I don't know how much. I'll put it up on the screen if I can find the price. I don't... I don't think these are out yet but you guys when these come out I think they launch on the 21st you need to buy this sponge it is so good it is like one of the best sponges that I've ever used in my entire life it's incredible it's so soft I'm obsessed I'm freaking obsessed they also sent over their new brushes which I've been trying out and so far so good Woo! Okay, I don't know if this is working, but I have this cute bralette from Victoria's Secret and I never wear it because I never know what to wear it with, so we're trying something new. Okay, primer. Oh, ooh. I am going to use some of my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I love this stuff. If you're oily and you've never tried one heck of a blot, you need to try it. So I pretty much put this on my entire face and I like to press it in so that it like really gets in and fills in my pores. It's a really good primer. This is the best smelling foundation that I've ever used. It smells like a spa. That's the only way that I can describe it. It smells so freaking good. Mm-hmm. Okay, and oh, this still feels really wet. Okay, that's better. This sponge will change your life. Mm, so good. When I do my foundation, I like to do like a quick once over and then I'll go back in and like really blend it in oh my god did you hear my stomach oh. I don't know why I feel like my hold on okay I think that's good mm -hmm. for concealer before I conceal, I'm going to use this It Cosmetics Perfect Lighting Radiant Touch Magic Wand. Why are you doing that? Um, this one's in Radiant Light. I don't know if I said that. But 
Air Cosmetics came out with a crap ton of new products and a lot of them are really good. This one I've been loving as a corrector. It's a little clicky pen, which mm, I don't love that, but I do love the product. And I just put that on there. And then I just blend it in a little. Mm-hmm. My favorite concealing little combo recently has been the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, which is one of my all-time favorite concealers in medium light warm. This is one of their new shades. And the YSL All Hours Concealer. This one is in the shade Ivory, which I'm usually not Ivory, but I've heard that this ran pretty dark. So when I got it, I was like, that's going to be way too light. But mixed with this, it's perfect. And I love the coverage on this. It's really good coverage. It blends beautifully. It doesn't look cakey or heavy. It's just a really, really beautiful concealer. So I take the Urban Decay one like on the outer part of my under eye. And then I take the YSL one on the inner part. That's just what I've been doing. a lot of concealer the sponge does soak up some of it though mm, so good and it doesn't make my under eyes look dry a lot of concealers will make my under eyes look dry and heavy and just aged old not good this little duo doesn't do that I'm just going to take what's left on my nose, just like on the center of my face. This hair is driving me insane. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Perfecto. Okay, this powder. Oh, my God, you guys, this powder. I love it so much. This is the Wowder from Glossier. Can you even see that? My lights are so bright. Oh my gosh, it has the little net in it, which I really, really like. This powder is so good. I have the shade Light Medium. I'm going to use this Smashbox Precise Blush Brush. It's definitely not a blush brush. I like to use it for powder. But this is such a gorgeous powder. I love it. It just looks so... I don't know it. I don't want to say flawless because it's not too heavy. When I hear flawless, I think like, oh, that's probably a heavy powder. It just looks, I don't know, it just looks good. Like it doesn't make my under eyes look dry. It just makes them look really, really nice. I'm going to use this Bye Bye Breakout Full Coverage Treatment Concealer from It Cosmetics. I love this little thing. Look at the little bottle. It's so cute. I'm taking the shade medium and I just put it right there on my hyperpigmentation. That's like my worst spot on my face. This is such a nice product. It's made for oily and acne prone skin. I'm not acne prone, but I'm oily and I just find that it works. It covers the area. It stays covered. It's a very thin concealer, but it has good coverage. I'm going to take my Laura Mercier puff and I'm going to use my Wowder and set the rest of my face. Ah. You can't really overdo it with this powder. Like, no matter how many times I put this on throughout the day, it never looks heavy. It's so fun. <laughs> Pro
priming my eyes with my Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in Light. This has been my favorite for months. This is such a good eyelid primer, especially if you have oily lids. You will love this. Okay, oh, let me also mention these Smashbox brushes. So they had sent over their collection. I have them all. Well, most of them. These are all the face brushes. I'm going to show you some more of them throughout the video. When I first got them, I looked at the prices and I was like, oh my gosh, they're so expensive. But they really are good. And there are some that are so unique. Like this is, wait. Ah, here she is. This is my favorite one. This is the buildable cheek brush it's Such so a weird shape but it is so nice for blush and then this is the sheer powder brush it's like so flimsy but like in the best way possible i love these brushes they're expensive but i do feel like some of them are very unique these two are my favorites by far they're really good girl girl on my eyes, I'm going to use this little baby, the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. This palette is amazing. I love it. I've been using this since it came out. It's just such like a, a all-in-one. You know what I mean? I don't have to pull from other palettes. There's good crease shades. There's good lid shades. There's metallics. There's mattes. There's a black. There's just everything in here, and it's so gorgeous. I love it. So I'm going to use this guy today. I do have a code with Morphe, which you guys know. I will put it down below in the description box. But yeah, this is a kick-ass palette. So I'm going to show it to you guys in action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh! <sighs> what did you do? What did you do? That's a heartbreaker. That's one of my favorite sheets. I kind of fixed it. Hmm. Okay, crisis kind of averted. <clears throat> I'm gonna take an E40 from Sigma as always, and I'm gonna go into this guy right here. This is a really, really nice transition shade. If you're around my skin tone. Oh, let me zoom you. Hmm, hopefully that's in focus. Okay. I'm taking this on my entire crease. Just kind of messy. Just get it on there. I need some lip balm. I'm going to use this Laneige lip mask. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It is really good. Mm. I don't know what it smells like, but it smells really good. It's like so smooth. Mm. Love it. I don't even know what I'm doing on my eyes, you guys. I'm going to take this deeper brown right here. That guy with a MAC 217 and I'm gonna put this in the crease but I'm not gonna blow it out as much as I did with the other shade just right in there just to deepen that up a little bit that poor little shade that my eyelash curler tried to destroy I'm gonna put that on my lid. But first, I'm going to use my glitter glue, which I'm obsessed with. It's from Too Faced. So I just take a little bit and just put it on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take that shadow on my finger. Look at that. So pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Other eye. 
And you want to do one eye at a time because this glitter glue will dry really fast and then kind of defeat the purpose. So do one eye at a time. Next, I'm going to take this shade. Oh, this shade is so pretty. <laughs> on my finger, on the center. Boop. Just pop it right on there. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to take this R42 from Morphe and I'm going to use my Slay all day because I have it sitting here. Wet my brush. Go back into that same shade that I just tapped on the center of my lid. I just want to intensify it a little bit. Oh, bitch. <gasps> yes, God. Oh my God, that setting spray smells so good. It's rose. It's coming out on the 26th or 27th soon it's coming out soon the rose one best one by far I like the warmth of the pink with like that cool almost like taupey center taking my favorite black eyeliner the Lottie London mm, AM to PM coal liner you guys you guys you guys this eyeliner is dollars, like it's so inexpensive and it's the best black eyeliner I've ever used in my entire life. Like, you guys, you need this eyeliner, seriously, it is so good. I'm going to go into this shade right here with an E36, a little pencil brush from Morphe, and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. I'm going to take a Smith 247. I am going to deepen up my crease just a little bit. I'm going to use, I'm going to go into this shade right here and just deepen things up a little, little, little baby bit. Oh, you know what? Before I do mascara, I'm going to go off camera and do my brows. So I will be right back. Okay. Okay. Brows be did. I used precisely my brow. A little bit of my, where are you? My brow is in dark brown and my makeup forever. What are you called? Brow liner. I love this thing. It's almost empty. Ugh. So good. Oh, I zoomed you guys out and I didn't do mascara yet, but I'll just do it real quick. This is the Urban Decay Troublemaker. This has been one of my faves since they sent it over to me. Now, I go back and forth with mascaras. Like, I'll use this. Then another day I'll use Catrice Glam and Doll. Then another day I'll use, like, my Chanel one or whatever. So, this is in my rotation. It's good. <gasps> oh! Oh. I got it! Ooh. Take that, bitch. Okay, on my inner corner and my brow bone, I'm going to take this shade, Araita Hia. And I'm going to use an R43 from Morphe. I love this color. It's so bright. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I love you. Yes, I do. Mm, I'm kind of happy with my eyes. I feel like they look good. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on to the rest of the face. Let's do this. I've been back in love with the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. 
this shade right here so is just goop. And I've been using my Eda brush. This is like old school. So I just take this little guy and I do a little contour. That looks like so harsh on camera, but in real life it's like boop. Mm -hmm. My battery's dying. <laughs> Don't worry, we're gonna blend. Look at all those little baby hairs, little benches. Okay, sorry, my battery died. So I'm gonna take this sheer powder brush from Smashbox with Too Faced Beach Bunny. I've been loving this. It's like a, a sheeny bronzer. It's so pretty. I know it's very summery and we're moving into fall, but I'm not ready to give summer up yet. I love this bronzer, it's gorgeous. Like, you can't mess it up. And it's perfect with this brush because this is so, like, flimsy. It just puts it on very soft. I'm going to bake with my Derma Blend powder. I'm cheating with this one. This is like a really recent favorite. I just got it a few days ago. But I've used it a few times and it is really, really nice. I've been loving it. So I'm gonna use my LA Girl sponge. And we're gonna bake. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and then we will debake. Okay, taking my favorite little blush brush and one of my favorite favorite blushes. Oh, you guys. This is Misconduct from NARS. It is. Look at that color. Look at that color. It's just like the prettiest neutral nude pink peach. Just watch. Oh, you guys, this highlighting duo, oh my gosh, I've been loving these two together. They're both from Jouer, so I start with Citrine, which, mine's looking a little run down, but I love this so much. Like, it is so pigmented. Look at that. These are some of, oh, mine is falling apart. I need to be really careful. But these are some of the best blushes that you will find, but they are so delicate. You have to be so careful with them. And then on top of that, I take rose gold. This, wait till you see it on. These two together are stunning. Mm. Okay, so I'm taking my M501 from Morphe and I'm starting with Citrine. Ooh. It is so amazing. Look, 
at that. Oh my god. I have a code with Jue. It's always down below. I love Jue. Like. And then rose gold on top just for a little kick. <laughs> you got me feeling some sort of way. Why do we always sound like we're having an orgasm when we put on highlighter? Beauty gurus. If you guys buy any of the Jue highlighters, be careful. They will break and you will be devastated because they're so good. I'm going to use my Gerard Slay All Day um, Setting Spray in Rose. I just have a little one because I got this as like a preview and this has become my favorite one. It smells incredible. Oh my god. Bitch! Mm. The scent is... It smells like a rose perfume that I have. Ooh, I can't think of what it is, but oh my god, it smells so good. And this actually will keep your makeup in place as well. It's a really good setting spray. This one, the Morphe one, and I've been also loving um, the Kat Von D one. That one I always love. So for lips, there have been two different lip products that I've just been going hard with. Actually, three. I've been loving so much these new Milk lipsticks. They are amazing. I always have one of these in my purse. They're incredible. They're like a demi matte. They're so comfortable. They're pigmented. They wear beautifully. They're they're really, really good. Like I just can't keep saying they're so good, but they are so good. And then I've also been loving the Becca, what are these called? Lush Lip Color Balms. These are incredible. They're very not sheer they do have a good amount of color to them but they're just very easy to slap on if you don't want to fritz fritz really if you don't want to like futz around with lip liner these are just easy to apply i have three that i love like i have problems but they're just so nice this one is ginger vanilla and it's like this really pretty just like pinky peach and then this one is chai cream. This is my favorite. It's this glorious nude. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. And the last one is almond something. I'll put it on the screen, but I'm not even going to attempt it. And this one is more of like a mauvey pink. But they're just kind of sheer, but they give you nice color and I... I really love them. I truly love them so much. But today I am going to use the LA Girl Lipify in the shade Corset. This is another lip launch that totally took me by surprise. Like these are really good and they're really, really inexpensive. LA Girl has been coming through. Like this right here got me all kinds of fluffed up and these, so bomb. So I am going to use the lip liner. Look, I'm all excited. I didn't even put lip liner on. This is stripped down from MAC. I've been going hard with MAC lip liners recently. I love this one. It's just like that perfect brownie nude. So I'm going to put this one first, then corset. I wonder if this is going to be too cool. Hmm. Hold on. Okay, I'm still going to use one of the Lipifies, but I'm going to use lingerie. This one's just a little bit warmer. I feel like it's going to work better with these eyes. These are a clicky pen, but they're not like liquid doesn't come out. It's just like a regular lipstick, but they click. It's kind of odd, but I kind of like it. Mm, this color is really pretty. It's kind of light. We'll put gloss on. Oh, I actually really like that color. It might be a little too light for me, but I don't know. I'm kind of feeling it. 
I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of Teddy on top just to deepen it off a little bit oh mm-hmm yes 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 oh I like these two together mm. and I do like to blot these because they're a little bit creamy they stay on better if you blot I'm going to take my Sephora Plumping Gloss in Outrageous. I've talked about this on Snapchat numerous times. I love these. They're a little bit tingly, but they're so comfortable and they're, they smell good. They feel good. They're not too sticky. I love them. I have three out of four. I'm just going to put it in the center. What is on my lip? What is that? Wait. <clears throat> Okay, I actually really like that lip. I think it looks pretty, but we have got to do something with this hair. So let me go curl my hair and I'll be right back because this is driving me crazy. Okay, so I threw a few curls into my hair. I just washed it last night so it's like really clean so it doesn't really want to do anything yet. Tomorrow we should have a better day with it. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I showed you like the main products that I've been loving this month. Oh, I put the lid on backwards. The YSL Foundation Obsession, um, these milk lipsticks, you guys have to try these. I'll show you my three favorites. This one is Cream. This is my favorite one. These are so bomb. This one is Name Drop. Oh, you guys. If you're looking for a red lip, ugh. and this one is Low Key. This is the one that I had on... When did I have this one? The other day on Snapchat and I had a lot of people ask me what I was wearing. That guy. I think I mixed something else with it though. Um, but this is gorgeous if you're looking for like a cool toned. It's almost like a purpley gray. It's stunning. You guys, if you take one thing from this video, get this freaking LA Girl sponge. You get a pack of two. This sponge is so good. Like, I can't even express in words how much I love this sponge. I think it's an exact dupe for the Tarte sponge. The one that's shaped just like this, and it's really, really soft. I swear this is the exact same thing. Erin has that one. And I've used hers. I think this is it. Seriously. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Now I'm going to go to Emma's volleyball game with a full freaking beat. Oh, well, they already think I'm crazy. So if you guys want to let me know down below what your favorite products are right now, I would love to hear them. I love you guys so much. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my little baby channel. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. I love you. 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 I love Over and over. <laughs>